My name is Hello Moth and this is my first full quest. It was my first time ever doing anything in a workshop setting. Um, so at first, I, I think the word, the word would be respectful. I wanted to be respectful of the other artists and um, kind of gauge how comfortable they were with me joining in on their songs and try to, trying to encourage them to, to join in on my songs. And you know, I'd, I'd heard a lot about them, these workshops, and seen a few of them. Um, so I, I had a basic idea of, of what to do. But once you're on stage, it was, you know, it was a a whole different thing. Other than this, I've actually never never worked with other musicians on stage um, as Hello Moth, and really it worked a lot better than I than I initially thought it would. I, I had some some fears. You know, some people have told me try getting other musicians on stage; it might be a cool idea. I was never sure how that would go, considering that I've got this loop going on. Everything feels very delicate to me when I'm performing it because if I make a mistake while well, that box is recording and that mistake gets played back again and again and again. But of course that's not the case for somebody who's not plugged in to my looper. And so people had a chance to kind of feel their way into it and, and figure out the song and then it complemented it beautifully. There were enough points where I really just thought this has added so much to the song that, um, that I might not have thought of myself that I think it'll definitely open my eyes to collaboration in the future. With bands that might not, you know, they might not fit on the same bill in the normal setting, but just knowing or having a confidence in, in Calgarians of coming out to see different things and um, knowing what, you know, what my fans are going to like, you know, if somebody else's fans are going to enjoy me, and um, not really being worried about that, it's just collaborating with the people who I enjoy hearing. We have, I think, probably one of the more progressive folk music festivals here. Um, and so, I mean, the fact that a guy like me got booked at a folk music festival is something in and of itself. And there are bands that that incorporate elements of metal music, or you know, certainly there's some rap going on. And um, I, I saw Kid Koala here a, a few years back, and you know, all, all that kind of stuff is really, really cool. And so when when people come to the Calgary Folk Music Festival, I don't think that they only expect to hear folk. And so everybody's here in this really, really open-minded setting. Um, you know, seeing, for instance, myself and the Great Lake Swimmers in Deep Dark Woods on one stage together, and nobody seemed particularly turned off by the fact that I was playing a synthesizer, whereas I think there are, there are some settings, some festivals, where that, that might have been a bit more taboo. Um, it's nice to know that we're all open-minded here and, and enjoy different kinds of music. Calgary as a community for the arts and for music in general has expanded so quickly um, over the past few years that there hasn't been that much time for different scenes to segregate. And so I've, um, I've had contact with people from the rap scene, from, you know, definitely from the folk scene, as, as I said, and um, pop scene as well. And people like Jocelyn and Lisa um, I've collaborated with, um, played a show with Transit a while back. And, you know, and so that, to me, it, there's been enough diversity and everybody's accepting enough of everybody else that um, there are certainly genres and, and scenes that way, but uh, there's been contact for me with everybody. Mm -hmm.